Isn't it good to feel the presence of God? You know, I'm going to sing this first song so you can relax. Amen. It's a song that I believe everybody here knows. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Oh so no, I'm gonna let it shine. Come on and sing it. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Come on and sing it. Everybody here knows to let you be comfortable. You know, it's really just to take my nerves away. That's all it is. Thank you. 
take care of everything. Amen. We're not worthy, but he's worthy of all the praise. I know that I'm unworthy to call upon your name. Lord, I know I've been a sinner, and for that I am ashamed. that you would listen so I'm giving you my plea I'm too unworthy Lord to come to you could you please come down to me I know that there are others 
that could offer more than I. I promise you I'd understand if for me you have no time. I just hit bottom And I'm looking up to see I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you Could you please come down to me? I guess I must be reaping From the seeds that I have sown And Lord, you owe me nothing. We haven't spoken for so long. But if you could spare some mercy, Lord, I pledge my life to you. I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Could you please come down to me?
sing one more song. If I never walk upon those streets of pure school, if I never sit beside the crystal sea, if I never see that mansion prepared to be. My final home, I want to see Jesus, cause he died for me. To look into those eyes of mercy that watched over me when I strayed. Oh, and to feel those nail scarred hands that said they brought Thank you for each drop of blood and all that flowed from Calvary. I want to see Jesus, cause he died for me. And if I don't see those walls of Jasper, all those 12 gates of pearly wine, and if I don't get the shade beneath that tree church you're beautiful God loves the church God loves his son his people there's a message between life and death we got a good taste of life here today eternal life people get a little confused about death in Adam we all die and that that's a that's a story that's biblical and we look back and Adam Adam lived to be 930 years of age and he died Genesis in chapter 5 and then he begat Seth, 917 years old, and he died. And you read through the scriptures of all those that, that have gone with the way of death. When people die, they're separated from the world. That's, I mean, uh, the living know they'll die, the dead know nothing. 
And when you're separated, that's what death is. You, you have no more thoughts, no more memories. You're, you're gone from this world. But I tell you, there's a second death that's taught about in the Bible. And that second death is preached and taught in Revelation that there is an escape of the second death. And that's to those who believe in the first resurrection. The first resurrection of anyone that has died is Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he resurrected from the dead. And he offers us life or death. The wages of sin are death. The gift of God is eternal life. Amen. We're not just here for the moment of time. There's a, there's a death that's pronounced upon every individual. Unless the Lord comes and then we're changed in the moment and in the twinkling of an eye, we'll all meet the Lord never to be with the Lord. But I tell you, there comes a time of people are going to be cast into a lake of fire. And I'm not preaching to scare the devil out of anybody. I'm just telling you, there's a judgment day. And that judgment day represents destruction. And Jesus said this, Fear not man that can destroy the body, but you fear God who can destroy both body and soul in hell. That's what he said. The hell represents the fire. And when you look over into the Bible, when the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy this old earth with fire. It's going to, it's going to destroy the elements of fervent heat, all the things that dwell therein, and there's going to be a land of righteousness. And it is called the city of God, the New Jerusalem. But we live today in a land of the living. When God created this land, he didn't just create it for America. He created it in a land where even the animals and all the things of the world live therein. But I tell you, you can look at California, you can look at Australia, and you can see what fire does and the damage. Yeah. It has no respect to person, and when that fire can't be quenched, man can't put it out. Whether it be the beast of the field or the humans involved, man can't just put this fire out. But I tell you, there's a fire coming, and God has a plan for that to destroy the sin and iniquities of the world. Now, the wages of sin are death. The gift of God is eternal life. That gift came through Jesus Christ. He had to suffer the pains of death. As the song, the blood shed on Calvary, the crucifixion because he was born in this manly, fleshly manner of a woman. But I tell you, his father is God Almighty. Amen. People may bring him down and call him something else, but there is God the Father, Christ the Son, and this Holy Spirit that lives and dwells inside the people that believe. Amen. There's a day coming of judgment. And we're sitting in it today because judgment begins in the house of the Lord. Yeah. I hear all these excuses about not going. Or I don't have to serve the Lord the way you tell me to. I tell you what, if you love God, you'll love His fellowship with His people. But there's another death. And that is a spiritual death. And I tell you, when you deny the Holy Spirit in your life... When you deny God in your life, it's an unforgivable sin because God is the great creator of mankind. And when people deny Him, they deny the hope of eternal life. I live in life today. He gave me life. After death, I have a promise that I can live forever. And I can tell you when the judgment day comes and people are cast into the lake of fire, there is a second death. We shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ for the deeds we've done in the body, good or bad. Many people will hear the words, enter into the joys of the Lord. I've entered them in now. I tell you, I couldn't have been any blessed anymore if I'd have been out here trying to get some touch of somebody else, some other singing band or anything else. I tell you, buddy, you're better than Jimmy Swider did. <laughs> I 
don't have to buy a Bible with his name on it. <laughs> this is what we call serving the Lord. Amen. A fellow from way out of state, out of town, God works in mysterious ways. And I tell you, if church and people don't want a fellowship, you know what? There's something missing in them. Yes. I can find plenty of problems. Problems. Yeah. Somebody can always make me mad. I don't go there. They they don't worship like I do. They don't believe like I do. What did I do wrong? What did I mess up? I tell you, I'm excited though. Amen. I'll laugh with you. Nobody yeah. laugh at me, but I still laugh with you. Don't know you got a seat plumb full of people. Thank God we didn't make you mad. <laughs> well, my seat's full, too. Well, wouldn't you let me forget, Nancy? No. <laughs> but that's true. Look back in time. If you quit, Brad quit. If she quit, look, we're in this for today is the day of our salvation. Amen. Enjoy our lives. I miss many people, but I tell you, I believe in this year that we can grow. But it first comes spiritually. Yes. When we spiritually grow, spiritually grow strong, God, you pray people will come in and they'll stay for the word of the Lord. There's a judgment day coming. And all those who are in the graves are going to hear His voice. Some to the resurrection of life. And some to the resurrection of damnation. Jesus came not to condemn this world, but to save the world, right. which is lost. Yeah. God gave us His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. Right. Think of that. Should not perish. Yeah. That's totally separated from God in the judgment. That's the end. No more chance. Someone might preach another thousand years or you get another chance. I don't preach it. I preach it today's the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Oh, we've got some wonderful people here. Some, some wonderful people who care about people. We even like the newcomers. <laughs> I just threw that in there and get a little grin out of it. Come, just let you know. <laughs> It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's better felt than told, but I like them both. Nancy? Yes, sir? With all your comments? Yes, sir? I still love you. I do. I, I'm too. I hope so. Now that you've sanctioned this wedding, I don't know. <laughs> we have life and death. Jesus is living water. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, that was a type of Christ. The people had spoken against God. He fed them with manna, and he gave them water to sustain their physical life. And he gives us Jesus Christ, who is our bread and our water. He gives us our spiritual life. When you take him in your life, you've got life. He's living. And because he lives, you live also. And if you separate in your spiritual life, the wages of sin are death. And if you don't believe in him, you'll perish. This is a now life. Enjoy it. Enjoy your life. Eat, drink, and be merry. Don't get drunk and be with Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Probably all kind of clothes. <laughs> I don't have to add to that. not saying anything else. <laughs> this has been a wonderful day. I love you, children. 
We love you too. Has anybody else <laughs> got anything to say before we dismiss? It's been a good place to be. Amen. Amen. Anybody got another testimony? Yep. blessing just to know that you've got somebody that you can depend on brother. when you're down and out and you need that little bit of help he will pick you up he will pick you up and let me tell you he will bring you to the top of the world <coughs> and he will bless you with everything that you ever needed Don't ever forget that he loves you. Yeah. More than anything in this world, if you just love him back, you'll find that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pray for y'all and y'all pray for me. Thank God I'm here. Because Bless this has been a glorious day today. Okay. Let me tell you. I could jump on top of the world. <laughs> If these old lags will let <laughs> but let me tell you. Somebody just tell me to shut up, sit down. But <laughs> I just want to thank you, people here at this church, for being what you are, for being my wife. We came back here and we sit down back here in that back seat. I'll never forget it. The more he looked back at me and said, well, we've got some West Virginia guys here, some people here. We have a West Virginia jacket on. And I looked at Gladys and I said, we're just like you. <laughs> and we've been coming ever since. Yeah. God sent you here. And thank God that I found the place. Yeah. Because he has blessed. Thank you for listening to me. We love you, Lawrence. We love you, Lawrence. We love y'all. Anyone else? All right. Rico? 
Rocco. I love you though, Rocco. One more song. One more song. One more song. Gladys, you ain't said much in church. He's down and shut up. One more song. One more song. Somebody can say something while I'm getting ready. Anybody got anything you want to say? Pastor, I do. I want to stand again and just say it's been a wonderful place to be today. But you know, each time we praise him, we get closer to him. And the more we praise him, the more, like Lonnie said, you know, whatever it is, he's going to help you through. But he deserves our praises. And uh, I just love him so much. And I just always want to to go and be close to him and read that word and pray and let him guide me. Uh, when I try to do it myself, I can sure make a mess of it. I'll tell you, can't we all? But he is so good to us. And the praise is really important in our lives as a Christian to give it to him. Bless you. Bless you. God bless you. Now who can speak to a cripple and who stand up and walk? And who can call the deaf and dumb to hear and start to talk? And who can calm a fevered brow and just say, let it be? Take a little bit of clay and touch it in the way blind and eyes can see. I'm telling you, he can. And in all that he'll stand right by your side when the world comes to live in. For no one has ever done what he's done. He laid down his life and rose a little bit. Now what can cause an old man that's about to say goodbye? To lift up both those dying hands with a tear running from his eye. With his loved ones gathered all around him, he can smile and say no fear. For the one that brought me through the storm is going to lead me out of here. I'm telling you, he has. And I know that he'll stand right by your side when the world comes stumbling in. For no one has ever done what he's done. He laid down his life to grow to live again. I want to sing that one more time. Now what can cause an old man at the top to say goodbye? To lift up both those dying hands with a tear running from his eye. With his loved ones gathered all around him, he can smile and say no fear. For the one that brought me through the storm is going to leave me out of here. I'm telling you, he can. And I know that he'll stand right by when the world comes stumbling in For no one has ever done what he's done He laid down his life and rose to live again